So apparently Margot Robbie got called out by someone for formerly having been a metalhead for liking metal. I don't know. Uh, my girlfriend actually sent me a video clip on Discord a few days ago um, of something related to this. And I thought it was something I had seen already because I had already seen an interview with Margot Robbie where she basically said that she grew up liking a Slipknot. She went to metal shows. Pretty cool. You know, the fact that someone in Hollywood uh, actually not only is or was a metalhead or is or was into metal, but admits it. Um, but apparently this is a new interview. This is a video clip that I haven't seen. And it looks like Kate Blanchett apparently called her out um, and kind of maybe disrespected metal a little bit. We'll see. We'll find out. Uh, it's very interesting. Probably this is something that's been blown out of proportion, as these things tend to be. And, uh, you know, metalheads tend to get uh, very easily provoked with these kind of things. Uh, more on that later. I have some thoughts. Uh, but let's watch the video clip and see what it's all about. Marco, were you a goth? I, yes, I definitely had my... Goth. I don't know if I was full goth. Very emo, though. Okay. Uh, and I'd listen to, like, only heavy metal music. And I would dye my hair black and only cut it with a razor blade. <laughs> okay, very emo, but she only listened to heavy metal music. I guess we'll have to let that one slide. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't see the correlation there. Uh, <laughs> speaking of someone who uh, really saw the whole emo thing blow up in... Uh, uh, in Jersey where I lived as a teenager. Um, you know, people were listening to My Chemical Romance and Census Fail and Hawthorne Heights and all those types of bands. Um, I don't, yeah, I think she's a little bit confused on what the term means. Um, but she is from Australia. Maybe it's a little bit different there. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't really know what to say on that. But we'll give her a pass on that one. It's cool that she liked heavy metal bands growing up. Um, and again, that she admits it because probably more Hollywood actors or actresses than we know of like that kind of stuff. Um, either when they were younger or they still like it. Um, Jason Momoa is one example, but not a lot of them probably admit it. So that's pretty cool that she still talks about it. Let's see where it goes. <laughs> so yeah, I kind of go. Does anyone like heavy metal music? Was that, a, was that something you genuinely liked? I genuinely, and I still genuinely No, no like one likes it. it. Mm, yeah. Do you like yeah. monster trucks and things like that? No. <laughs> no. It is a whole... Do you like monster trucks? <laughs> okay, listen. <laughs> this is Kate Blanchett, like, like, saying, like, do people like heavy metal? And kind of, like, being a little bit judgy. And I just find this hilarious, because this was an actress who, at various points in her career, looked like the front woman of a folk metal band, and a black metal band. <laughs> but, you know, I think this just shows how out of touch and out of the loop she is with this thing. And to a certain degree, it's understandable. You know, people living in Hollywood are probably living in a certain kind of bubble. And when she thinks of heavy metal, she probably just thinks of, like, she thinks it's something that lived and died in the 80s, probably. You know, a bunch of, like, grunting guys with long hair and leather jackets. Um, you know, it, it's very interesting how there's such different contexts for different people for things like this. Uh, but the, <laughs> the monster truck thing is weird. It's it's just weird, man. Let's keep going. Kind of thing. Just, <laughs> yeah. No, just no. I really like it. Like I remember. Yeah, I'd go to con. I I remember going to the Slipknot concert, and the most I've ever been at the time I was on Neighbors. I have never had more people come up to me ever than at a Slipknot concert. They wow. cute, the, the crossover between it wasn't monster trucks and Slipknot. It was Neighbors and Slipknot. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone kept coming out and being like, wow. It's quite the Venn What was Neighbors again? Was that a show? So unexpected, and they're worried about all the characters, and is so-and-so's baby okay? And <laughs> they're not real. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. They were so invested in Neighbors and Slipknot. So I, I don't know, yeah. No, I genuinely like that, that kind so of So it's music. family listening. I wonder how Corey Taylor feels about this. <laughs> Just a thought. It's, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so, look, I feel like there's a certain degree of ignorance, and I don't mean that in a bad way, but there's a certain degree of ignorance that you kind of have to expect, like, when it comes to people in this lifestyle, like, in this culture. Like, it's just so vastly removed from everyday life and everyday culture. And, you know, when you think of metal, very rarely are any metal bands involved in any part of the Hollywood experience. Like, to a... To a degree, there have been certain metal artists and musicians who have been in movies or shows, um, but not typically like big budget Hollywood things. You know, it's like those things don't really cross streams that much. So, and, and keep in mind, she's older as well. When she was growing up, you know, metal was just 
just coming into being, really. And uh, it was very different back then than it is today. I mean, it's so much more mature and more multifaceted now. Um, so I have two main takeaways from this. One is that Kate Blanchett is a good actress, and she probably just shouldn't talk about metal because she doesn't know anything about it. But you also have to kind of forgive her for that because how can she? <laughs> um, and number two is that Margot Robbie continues to be an awesome human being and an awesome actress. Um, I, she's one of the few actresses that I would say are like among my favorites. And uh, it's just even more cool to know that she was a metalhead um, and probably still might listen to metal on occasion. I honestly don't know. But if she still talks about it, she probably still digs it. Um, and the fact that uh, people at the Slipknot concert were so invested in some kind of show that she was on, which sounds like very soap opera-ish. Um, probably Corey Taylor would, would laugh at that if you heard about that. So it was an interesting video, and I feel like, again, people are probably making this more controversial than it actually is. It was just a short little interview. Um, and I think, like, the metal community as a whole has a little bit of a chip on their shoulder, right? Like, they're very easily provoked. I mean, look what happened with the MGK thing. Like, MGK was looking for attention, and he got exactly the response from metalheads that he wanted to. And I can tell you he was laughing about it. Like, I already know. Like, Corey himself handled the thing very maturely, but metalheads, the way they flipped out and the way they took it so seriously and the way they just made it a big thing, to the point where Loudwire and every other metal publication was covering this constantly, that he fully intended to do that. He's was very much in attention whore mode when it came to that, and uh, he's just in that bratty phase of his life and his career. And look, a lot of metalheads fell for it hook, line, and sinker. So, listen, you guys gotta you guys gotta calm down. I say this as a fellow metalhead. Don't be so easily incited, you know? These things happen. People are ignorant of metal on many levels and in many ways. And uh, people from all walks of life, uh, they just don't know what they're talking about when it comes to metal. And sometimes that doesn't imply that there's anything malicious. It's nobody's fault. Uh, it just happens. And uh, if you have an opportunity to inform them, if you have a chance to make them fall in love with the music, go for it. But, uh... Yeah, that's pretty much what I think. Uh, both very talented actresses. Uh, Kate Blanchett should just stay in her lane. I say that politely and respectfully, and uh, just not talk about metal. Because when you start mentioning monster trucks, that's just cringe. It, it's very cringe. <laughs> and uh, again, I'll give Margot Robbie a pass for associating emo and uh, goth with uh, metal music. I can see the goth. There's some, there's some uh, you know intersectionality happening with there with the those two things uh gothic metal is definitely a thing but emo and metal i don't know man i don't know <laughs> interesting stuff that's all i got for you catch you on the next one